Hello, Emmerich's here. Uh, many of you know that we uh, recently got a couple of... Did you hear that? That's our puppies. That's what I'm about to talk about. Uh, we've got Oreo and Chucky. And one thing we really want is to have a... Like a cat flap. And I've looked through the various cat flaps. This is the biggest one we can get for large cats, small dogs, etc. And we're hoping this is going to be fine. Basically, it's called the Shaw Flap. Um, it's called the microchip pet doll. So if you've actually got a micro microchip animal, like a dog, which most dogs are microchip these days, it will. Well, you can program it to, uh, you know, register your dog. So basically, whenever it goes up to the this door, it's actually going to open up automatically to let the dog in and out, which is fantastic. You don't want other animals come in. Some somebody else's dog or somebody else's cat maybe foxes or other animals you never know anyway how good are these I've seen a few videos um, and they look pretty good but uh, anyway I've purchased one this was 80 pounds believe it or not for a cat flap or a dog flap the pet door um, and I was going to put it in the door the main front door but I'm going to actually put a hole through this wall outside so it goes directly into the garden um, I've actually just ordered some extenders because obviously in a door there's virtually no um, depth at all to get through um, but this wall to the outside it's probably got about a foot and a bit of uh, plasterboard and bricks to get through so I've got quite a job on my hands anyway first thing to do is simply uh, get this unboxed get the template out to or basically the outer section just to show you know just to mark out where I need to start my job anyway let's get down to it and see what happens later on I'll be oh hello Emmerich's back um, actually it's three days later as you can see I've literally broken through it's, it's almost conjured up images and thoughts of that great film The Great Escape it's taken me there must be at least one or one and a half foot over of brickwork to get through and it's been quite a task and not only that the expense has increased this initially as I, I might have mentioned in the first clip was 80 pounds but I've had to get these extensions extenders rather um, so I can create the tunnel to show you which they go through to outside now here's the extenders they're actually between five and seven pounds each these cost seven pounds from pets uh, pets at home. So let's just duct tape these last few up. I've got three more today and let's see um, if it fits. The important bit is if it lines up with outside and I'll show you that side in just a moment. Stay tuned. Right, as it's been a few days, um, I've actually covered the outer hole with this plastic bag obviously to stop anything trying to get in uh, the weather didn't want to get all wet um, but let's just take this bag off and one thing you will notice instantly which i didn't take into consideration stupid me was that my, the floor inside was i knew it was going to be a little bit higher but i didn't realize how much higher the actual and hole would be so now we've got a literally here's the hole here and you can see there's the extenders. I've, I've got another extender that I'm going to put on in a moment, um, which it does worry me because I feel that I might even need one more because it's still not quite long enough to protrude out enough for the outer bracket. So, oh, not another one, not another seven pounds. This is cost. Look at the tunnel. I'm sure they'll have fun getting through that tunnel, don't you? Anyway, um, I've got to try and now trim this hole a little bit better to let the it's not it's not quite going to fit so I've got to trim it a little bit out here a little bit round um, so it will come through I think it's got about another inch or so to come through so I think one more should be perfect anyway that's the plan so let me get on with that and uh, I'll put that one single extender left on there and see if we can fit the outer section but it's sort of getting there oh it's taking time I've got a beautiful day anyway so um, it's a bit glorious to be out here today anyway catch you in a bit right one hour later approximately I've managed to sort of 
but there's always something that needs sort of like tweaking, teasing in the hole to try and get it to match up fine. And I've been a little bit lucky. It protrudes just at the right amount outside, which we'll see in a moment. But first off, I need to secure the inside. And to do that, I hope you can see me. Look at the size of that extended tunnel. Is that an all time long tunnel you've ever seen? Wow. There's four screws. There's basically two screws here. You have to take the uh, compartment cover off, obviously it just, it just uh, flips off from bottom to top, just flips off. And you've got two little covers at the bottom, which show the, oh, where's my, there you go. So basically what I've got to do is unscrew these according to the manual. Let's get the right size posi drive. cover off oh there you go right never taken one of these off before all the screws are out of place let's see what happens ah that's quite easy enough isn't it yeah okay that's easy enough and inside you can see we have hope you can see that four fixings there, which we can now basically put this in as a template. Look at this, how big is this? Oh, what a tunnel, there you go. Right up against the wall. And now I can get a little pen, fix the rule plugs and secure it, put the casing back on and we'll go outside. Anyway, I'll do that because I've got to go to uh, home base to get some rule plugs now, but I'll catch you in a second. Right, approximately about a half, a half an hour later, I've uh, managed to get some rule plugs. You're gonna need some rule plugs for the uh, con uh, brick concrete for outside. If you're gonna do the same as me, um, through the wall, and you're gonna need some uh, plasterboard, uh, likely some plasterboard uh, rule plugs as well. So some of each, they're about six pounds uh, for all these, so they're doing me for other jobs, uh, you know, in the future. As you can see, this has been this is solid. I've actually put a bead of um, a sealant round, keep the moisture out, creeping through, and um, I'm off out to do the other side. Right, let's check it out. Right, as you can see, the uh, tunnel's protruding a fair bit around, you know, the external uh, brickwork, but. If I put this outer casing on, wrong way round, you can see it's absolutely perfect because now I can seal this with uh, a white silicon to seal it off, fit the rule plugs, and we're there. Um, so I'm going to do that, and uh, shortly in the video, we're going to try it out with the puppies but that could be tomorrow because I've got to wait for the wife to come home as I get towed off. But um, for you, it'd just be a few seconds. Anyway, hang in there and uh, be right back. Right, we're talking about, oh, uh, just uh, sort of 24 hours later and uh, um, you can see that it's completed. I've actually sealed it. I've got these little plugs to put in or indoors, but I put extra sealant on the outside which wasn't such a great tidy job, but I can tidy that up at a later date. And um, basically it's trying to get the dogs to, uh, the puppies, Oreo and Chucky to use it. It's, it's, it's such a tunnel, it's a scary thing. I mean, look, just to show you, take a look, there's, Ore there's Oreo peeking through and they're not coming through. They're scared. All they got to do is push that door, and they're free. Um, it's actually what happens is it's actually um, it's always open from indoors, so they can always come out. But when they go back, they've got that little microchip um, that's already in them. Mo most dogs will have microchips in them, and lots of cats these days, and that will automatically open because to start initially to start off with, it's just got a button that you press that will scan for microchips. It's a very very simple process. 
but um, yeah, it's trying to get them to use it now. And you may have noticed the log steps. What do you think? What do you think of the log steps? Cool, isn't it? Anyway, let's see if we can get them to um, come out. Come on, Oreo. Come on, Oreo. Come on in. Come on, Chucky. Oreo, <laughs> look at them. Come on in. Push. Come on in. Come on in, boys. I think we're going to be here a long time. What I'm going to have to do is just switch the uh, video off and try and get them to um, open the door first um, to get them used to the tunnel so they get used to running in and out of the tunnel. And let's see how we get on. I'll get my son to um, open the tunnel for them and uh, get them used to actually not pushing that door at the moment. That's going to take some doing. But actually just getting, getting used to running in and out of that very long tunnel anyway. Let's get my son sorted. Garen. Yeah, you might have to let them um, open the door for them. See if that helps. Open it quite high. Come on in. Oreo. Come on in. Oreo. Come on in. You can do it. Come on, Oreo. Yay! Come on. Woohoo! Fantastic. Come on, Chuck. Chucky. Chucky, come on, your turn. Come on, Chuck. Chucky. Come on, Chuck. Go on, Chucky. Put his paws in. Yeah. Put his paws in. Go, go, go. That's it. Go on, Chuck. Good boy. Chucky's coming. Yay! Well done. Good boys. Right, they're, what they're going to do is literally play out here for a little while. Now, the last thing they want to do is go indoors on a nice day like this. So, um, as soon as they, I get an inkling they're going to want to go back in, I'll fire up and see what it's like when they go back in. But if they go back in, the collar will activate the door and they should be able to push their way through the door. But they didn't push their way out, so it's going to be quite a learning curve. It's not the easiest thing. Anyway, catch you Hello, look. boys. Look, there you go. You're going to come out. Chuck. Here's Oreo. Yay! That's great. That's a success. Come on, Chuck. Oh, Chucky gets a bit worried. Good boy, Chuck. There you go. They're totally fine. If um, they're totally fine if that door door flap is up. So I'm going to get used to them for the whole day, and hopefully at some point we can actually get them pushing the door flap. Anyway, stay tuned. It could be another day or so. As you can see, Oreo goes out fine, but Chucky's a little bit more hesitant. You can hear the actual catches moving where he gets close, and it scares him a bit, but the Nick, the good wife Nick Ricks is outside at the moment, and um, sure, oh look, he's, he's getting there. He wants to go out, there he goes, Wee! Oh, he can't put his foot in, there you go. Right, I've taken the tape off and uh, just to give you an idea what happens when they come to the door. Chucky, Oreo, good boy. Come on, Oreo. Here comes Oreo. Come on in. Good boy. Push. Oh, see, it's unlocked, the hinge, but he's unsure. Oh, it's so frustrating. Come on, Oreo. Chucky's barking in the garden. Oreo, push. Push, come on in. Good boy, push. He'll, he's actually turning around in the tunnel. Or trying Chucky. to. Yeah. Come on, Chucky. Good boy. Good boy, Chuck. Here comes Chucky. Come on, Chuck. Push. Come on. Good boy, Chuck. Come on in. Push. Chucky. They're totally scared of the door and they're not, you know, they're not interested. So what I'm going to have to do is go back to... Um, opening the door to get them used to the tunnel initially 
He's going to have a second attempt. Go on in, Chuck. Push. Good boys, Chucky. Hello. After two more days of frustration, um, it and oh, it's incredible when you can't get the uh, cats um, and the dogs to actually just push a flap, a straightforward flap. It's like, oh, come on, you can do it. Um, but today I was out, and my daughter said. One of our dogs, Oreo, has actually used it. And I've asked them to, I've asked her to put them out, out of the lounge at the moment. And I'm about to ask them to come in and show me. So it's a real monumental moment, a huge monumental moment for me to see um, them actually using my installed shore flap, dog flap. Let's check it out. I'll just give her the thumbs up to let them in and see if they can go straight through with it being locked. Well, it's not locked from the inside, but they have, we we'll see them going out, coming out into the garden and in. Right, one moment. Stay tuned. Yes. Hey, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, Chucky can't. He's not learned it yet, unfortunately. But um. Oreo has, but uh, hopefully it won't be long before Chucky. Come on, Chucky. Chucky, come on, push. Come on. <laughs> Hello, all. Yeah, it's actually been well, just over two weeks uh, after a couple of days, Oreo was able to just, without effort, and you know, he's not a very timid dog. He was just bashing his way through, coming in, in, out, in, out, right, absolutely no problem at all. But with Chucky, he's very, very timid, and it's been very, very frustrating. Oh, so frustrating over the last couple of weeks, not being able to get him to use it. But finally, just yesterday, ah. Oh, little little things please little minds and all that but it was such a relief uh, such a joy to see chucky actually using the the dog flap that's taken all this effort money ex all that expense to install time so it's absolutely brilliant so i thought i'd just finish off the video showing you a few clips of um chucky and oreo using the dog flap the shore flap anyway um I've got some treats so I can shake this. Uh, Chucky is still a little bit timid. Um, I should suspect, I should, uh, suspect Ch uh, Oreo's going to rush through within seconds and uh, Chucky will be through but give him, give him, give him a little bit of time and uh, we'll see. Anyway, let's, um, let's see what happens. Anyway, just before um, I let them through, just a shout out to a very, very fine young man I bumped into. Uh, just recently um, called Leon Hill. I think he's going to be a, uh, a big YouTuber. He's very interested in YouTube. He likes my videos. Uh, very interested in uh, getting into YouTube at, um, at some point. And I think he's going to appear in one of my videos even. So stay tuned. Anyway, let's get on with these uh, letting these dogs out. You can hear them barking away. Uh, so if, this, if I shake the treats, let's let them out. Right, let's unleash the dogs. Ready? Let's go. Ready! Come on, Come on dogs. As usual, here comes Oreo. Come on, Chucky, you can do it. Yay, brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I tell you, I was so pleased. It's ridiculous. Oh, the boys. And you want a treat now, don't you? Hold on, boys. Sit. Sit. No, 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 sit. Good boys. One for you and one for Oreo. Good boys. Anyway. Thanks for watching all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you can, please press the like button. It really does make a lot of uh, difference. Or subscribe to the channel. It'd be absolutely fantastic because we're doing a lot more um, videos with Chucky and Oreo. Anyway, catch you all soon. Take care. Emmerichs.